Okay. Upon completion of a project or goal, mm -hmm. what is the ideal amount of time in which a conscious creative thinker can use for celebration? All right. So how long or what type of thought process do I suggest someone takes to celebrating a goal that they achieve? Absolutely. Or maybe even a minor task that they achieve? Yes. Okay. Um, it's a funny question because I've never really been like a celebratory type. Uh, usually when I achieve a task, my mind is on the next goal. My mind is on the next accomplishment and it really only opens up my mind to what's possible. So I'm, I've always been the type to uh, maybe marinate for about, I'd say like half an hour, an hour or so, and then get right back into the grind. Uh, for instance, when I first finished the book, when I first got to the last few paragraphs and realized like, wow, I just wrote a book and it's like about to be legitimately finished. I said to myself, this is profound because there's so many different channels and there's so many different things I was trying to do to make myself happy when really all the contentment I needed was in my own talents and in my own skills. So the way I celebrated was really with that realization and the contentment of realizing that um, I can make myself happy. I'm in charge of my own happiness and my own contentment through the utilization of my own creativity and my own intelligence. And so I had that sort of like emotional high for about an hour and um, by the next day I was like back on task about you know editing the book, getting back into the website grind. So it was really just an emotional celebration, an intellectual celebration that has to do with realizing what's possible and realizing what you're capable of. For me personally, I, I guess I'm not the best person to throw that question towards, but I've, I celebrate in very minute fractions of time afterwards and then I get right back into the next thing to do.